Hello, this is John O'Dor from uh, Procurement Matters. Um, I'm going to show you today how to uh, take the expiry date and then create a report from it. So let's go over the page here. I've already set up some data. As you can see, it's this area here, rag status, red, amber, green. The formula I'm going to use is in the yellow box just here. We're going to cut and paste and copy. I'm going to leave the formula on the screen so you can copy it out. I'm going to press Control V and instantly you can see there's an R on the screen there. Let's pull that down to there. Lovely. And we can see that it's red, amber, green, red, green, amber, red, green. And that uh, formula picks up the end date of the contract and compares it with the dates today. Let's make it a bit pretty and put some uh, 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 conditional formatting in. First of all, let's set the background, the default as red, and then uh, conditional formatting, new rule, format only cells that contain is equal to, let's put A, because that's the amber, format, let's fill, Pick a good amber colour, looks a bit yellowy. Uh, uh, let's pick something over here. A bit better. So that's that's your amber done. And let's repeat that. Conditional formatting. New rule. Format only cells that contain cell equal to. And let's put G. And then let's pick a nice bright green there. Press OK and then OK and with a bit of luck when I click off it you can see that it's red, amber, green. Okay, So that when we want to, uh, we can simply just put the filter on, let's press the filter and we can say tell us all the ones that are about to expire and that's the amber and so on and so forth right through. Uh, on the greens, tell us the ones that are green, and that's fine. So let's quickly look at the formula here. If um, if you can see F2, so you then today equals less than 90, and you can change those days. So if if it suited you to have less than 60, you could suit that. You you could change that and and adapt it. And equally well, the other bit of maths here is the 180. If you just wanted it to, uh, you, you could change that number in there just by typing it over. And then when it's in the cell here, we can see the formula here just by changing that. Okay, let's take the filter off. And my other tip would be, if you've got a database, simply put a hyperlink in. So you've got, you've got your contracts database or contracts register you could simply put the hyperlink into the scan document and that way if someone asked you uh, tell me the expiry date and tell me the terms and conditions it's nice and easy to get to okay hope that's helpful if you liked it let's uh, uh, press the like button on the uh, uh, on the YouTube below and uh, just leave a comment because it's always helpful for, for me thank you very much bye